I'm Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Programme and today's bottle what we're looking at is a Glowworm 30 CXI. So we're going to have a tour around this boiler and look at the function and see how it works. So to access the boiler or inside it, this front panel comes off by simply removing the two screws at the bottom here and there and then it all lifts off. On this type of boiler, um, they're probably around about 10 to 14 years old, so they're knocking on a bit and quite a lot of these are now being replaced. But we'll go over um, how it works and how the water flows around the boiler. So on hot water mode, what you've got, you've got the cold water inlet coming into the boiler. So this is a cold water inlet pipe here and that goes up and it goes through the flow sensor. So it's a bit compact so it's difficult to see so what you've got this part here is the cold water passage going this way and it goes then towards that direction this is the flow sensor flow turbine here then the water carries on into the plate heat exchanger so at the same time passing through it's uh, rotating the flow turbine causing a voltage drop which the um, PCB detects and starts the boiler to start working so obviously the pump starts, the fan starts and the burner comes on. So as I said it goes that way through the plate heat exchanger then comes out here this is a hot pipe that's hot water sensor comes out and to the taps. While that's also working the diverter valve here this is the actuator that pushes in, shuts off the central heating return port, so the primary water, which is this pipe here, coming down, goes through the diverter, then into the plate, heat exchanger, making the cold water turn into hot water. So all that happens all at the same time. For the central heating, you need the um, demand on that's thermostat turned up any external controls turned on and then the pump will run the burner the fan will come on the diverter valve will be at rest so when the primary water coming down from the main heat exchanger hits the diverter valve then it'll just go straight out round the radiators and return back now it'll come into the back of the pump through the return so that's a flow return the two outside pipes through the pump and then back up into the main heat exchanger which we'll have a look now so this is the main heat exchanger and this is the flow pipe here going down as I said before to the diverter valve and the return pipe is at the back there and it goes across and as I said where the pump is so that's pumping into the main heat exchanger. Now I'll show you some other things on this boiler. You've got the gas valve here. So when the demand's on, the gas valve opens. Through the fan, the fan's running. What that does, that makes a negative pressure on the gas valve. Draws gas into it. 
the gas comes in at the bottom there through the gas valve in the fan fan mixes with air so you've got pre mix gas and air then goes into the burner gets ignited by the spark electrode and then you've got ignition this here is a spark generator so it does a, the sparking you've got here that's the main overheat thermostat and just below that you've got a thermistor on the flow and the one at the back is the thermistor on the return on this boiler as well what I noticed um, the problem with the expansion vessel has been leaking you can see drips down there so the expansion vessel is defective it's going to want replacing it has been losing pressure so this is where it's been leaking from that's a condensed trap so that's the main parts of this boiler so as I said that's the main things of the tour looking around the boiler that was just mainly just to give you some insight into this this part also is the um, filling tap it's got an internal filling loop so it goes across there through this non-return valve and then into the primary heat inside to fill up the system that's a pressure leaf valve and um, I think that's mainly you've got here also a pressure sensor that senses the pressure in the boiler which is displayed on the main control panel so that's it for me on this particular boiler so if you like what you've seen just give us a like you can subscribe to our channel and also we've got a new LinkedIn profile which you can join us on there as well so thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next video